Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a how I organize my calendar. So really simple, short video, but I hope you guys like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys then. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you how I organize my calendar. So I use an app called Time Tree and I can access it on my phone and my laptop. So I really like that. Um, if I'm on the go and I input something into my calendar on my iPhone, it will automatically go to my laptop through iCloud. So that's really cool. Another cool thing about this app and website is that you can actually share your calendar with friends or family and they can do the same if they have the app. So all you have to do is copy the link and then send it to them and they can accept and then yeah, they can see your calendar. So I'll show you a little overview of how it works and what it looks like on my laptop. This is my calendar for the month of September. Um, you have your monthly calendar and also your weekly calendar. So this is just a little bit more in depth of what times you have certain things. I use monthly calendar just because I like to see an overview of my month and of my week. So for things I need to get done that week in specific, I'll put them on the side here. This is kind of like my to-do list or reminders. Um, I color coordinate my subjects and I'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit. But say um, this one's in red so I know it's my human diversity class. I'll show you how to add a memo as they're called. So all you do is go up here, um, select your subject. So let's just say social life and family and I need to call my Nana. And then you press enter and it will go to the top of your to-do list. So yeah, that's kind of where I put my um, things I need to get done that day or that week. I'll show you how to create an event. So you go to this little plus button and then type in your event. Let's just say I have class. And then you can set the time or you can do it as all day if you have an event all day or you can do save as memo and it will go to the sidebar there. As again, you can color coordinate. So let's just say it's this class and then once you save it, it will show up as blue. Um, you can also go to advance. You can set a notification. So let's just say five minutes before an event or a day before the event, you can do that. Um, if you have a class every Monday at 2.30, instead of inputting that class every week into your calendar, you can just go to repeating and press weekly and it will do that for you. So that saves a lot of time. You can also go to location, set a location, set a note, a to-do list. So let's just say you wanna go to the gym. Go gym and then fitness is pink. And then I can write a little note that I wanna do legs. And then it will show up here. So the solid boxes mean that you set it for all day and then the non-solid boxes mean that they have a specific time. So for fitness and social media, I like to set them as these solid bars just because I don't know exactly what time I'll be able to go that day um, just because school and work are my priorities. Um, I put it in my calendar because I know I want to go those days. I just don't know what time yet. So that's why I set it as all day and why it shows up as this solid bar. For events that have a time, it will show up as just a bar like this with the color of the subject on the side there. So yeah, that's just a little overview of my calendar on my laptop. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on my iPhone. Also, I don't know how to change the name of the color on my laptop, but I do know how to do it on my iPhone. So I'll show you guys that. If anyone does use this app or website, please let me know on how to change the name of each color. Um, I can't figure it out on my laptop, but I do know how to do it on my phone. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you what the calendar looks like on my phone. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm also going to show you how to change the name of each color. So how to color coordinate your subjects. Um, so yeah, basically the only difference is that the subjects are actually written in their color and also memos and create an event are just at the bottom. So that's really the only difference. So if you go to at event, you go to your colors and there's a list of all my subjects. So you go to event label management and then let's just say I want to change the black one. So I'm going to change it to ringette just for an example. Done and save. 
and then that's how you change the name. So that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.